as a part of our EPC framework, we know that our first initial phase is called design phase or engineering phase. In this phase, as a planning engineer, how we have to approach how we have to operate across the industry, across different kind of stakeholders. So in this video, I'm going to explain about design or engineering phase and how to deal with that process. This is, this slide is actually going to help you to track designers performance. Internal review. Designers are going to sit and they are going to make internal review, their team. Once they are going to communicate with you that document or drawing is under this phase, you are going to say, okay, out of 103% work is done. These percentages are on the basis of ad hoc, Abu Dhabi National Oil Corporation. Okay, ad hoc. I will help you to understand why. Every other company is doing same methodology. This is called a rule of credit or weightage. 3%. Okay, simply your designing team is going to say, okay, like they, they have to start from somewhere. Na? They are going to report you as a planning engineer. You have to track their progress. So the first process, they have started structural drawings and you are going to ask them, okay, what is your status? They are going to tell you, we are actually doing internal review. Internal review means they have prepared the document, but now they are actually making double check, right? So you are saying, okay, 3% is done. Once this done, they are going to send that document to the other departments like civil structural drawing is being shared with the mechanical engineers. Why? You know that there is always a link between structural drawings and MEP drawings. Once we are going to make project, we have dependency. So there should not be any contradiction, any conflict. So that it means IDC, interdisciplinary check. It means other departments who are part of that project, electrical, mechanical, piping, they should check that document as well. So that they make sure there is no contradiction, right? So this is the second. Okay, you people, if you want to learn planning engineering as per ad hoc standards, you may you know, yahan pe, you know, isko memorize karein, ratta laga le, memorize each and every step. Then first submission. After that, they are going to submit this design to the client or whatever is the approval authority. Then 10%. Second submission. Maybe a client is going to tell them, okay, that's done, but uh, I need some changes. And they are going to submit again. Then 20%, you are going to get 3, 2, 5, 10 15 and 25, 35% progress is done. Once approval is done, 85% progress is done. And then 100% approval for construction or IFC. Okay, same like KFC, huh? not KFC. This is IFC mean issue for construction or approval for construction. So this is the complete process to track your designing team process that what they are doing. You are not concerning they are, what they are doing in the Revit, AutoCAD, these quad. No, 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 no. As a planning engineer, there are different kind of steps. Simple. But most of the companies, I am actually helping you people as per Adnoc and Aramco procedure, oil and gas industry. That is the standard one. Okay. But a lot of companies are only writing submittal and approval, submittal and approval. Okay. Maybe you have to ask. Don't show any efficiency if your company is not following this process. But as per Adnoc and Aramco, they are following this procedure. A lot of companies only putting these two submittal approval. Okay, we were going to maybe 50-50% problem. Simple. Submittal is done. Submittal means submission. Submit karwadiya. Okay, approval ho gaya. Simple. No activities. Okay. So anything you can follow, but this is the standardized one. So now I am going to share structural. Yahan pe click add button. Here, internal review, internal review. And then click on this add button again, IDC check, interdisciplinary check. Then click on this add button, first submission. Then second submission. Yes, Zuman, you have to memorize it, okay? then approval then AFC or 
IEFC approval for construction. This is the procedure. As a planning engineer in the industry of Gulf region, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Oman and uh, how you can pass job interviews because I know that watching these videos can leave you a lot of questions in your mind. So I am offering a live sessions uh, about construction industry planning and uh, plant shutdown industry planning and control. So I would like to invite you in my full interactive sessions. Enroll now.